I always had the students evaluate me. I've never seen the Goonies, by the way. What? What? <laughs> They're the best critics that I have. So I make all my adjustments for next year based on what they, how they respond. Like some books didn't work this year. Um, then some things I tried didn't work. This one persuasive essay unit we did was just didn't work. And they know, I mean, I kind of instinctively know these things, but they, they speak very honestly about that. And I had the newspaper staff evaluate me and I was reading through some of those and they're anonymous. And they're, I mean, they're very honest because I tell them, you know, I don't want you to tell me that, oh, Mr. Love needs to shave or, you know, uh, I don't want a Valentine. I mean, I'm looking for honest feedback and way, I get, it's way more effective than anything I've ever received from an administrator. Okay, here we go, right here, look here. Okay, skip a line. So we've got, the point of that was, is that the journey is a big part of popular culture. The road film, the buddy, the, the, the two people on the road, the group of people on the road is an American cultural icon. Pretty, it gets pretty intense in there, Kathy, when you're you know, putting on a paper and there's 33 kids and They've got five things going on. You know, we got to put out. We got to put a rock festival on. We got to have um, someone's got to design the pages. We got to get the cover shot. We're missing a photograph. This story, where did it go? Our advertisers calling. They want their ad. I mean, it's incredible what's going on in there. And plus all their own personal dramas. You know that they enact all the time out on the, with their phones. And so we have all that stuff going on. And but I, I really learned a lot this year from the about their, their evaluations. It rained every day in March. I think it was the largest recorded rainfall in Newport history since they've been keeping that. Oh my God. And I was I remember we were um, in the photography class. We couldn't go outside and shoot, you know? I mean, we couldn't get them outside. So one of the best lessons of the year was I, I'm, I'm standing in front. I put up all these weather statistics, like how much it rained, blah, blah, blah. And I said, okay, get your camera. You've got the rest of this period to get a rain shot. So I turned it around. You know, I turned the, the disadvantage of that, and then we had this incredible rain show where they had to take them black and so they took the shots of their digitals. They went under the awning and, like, and got shots of puddles, raindrops. It was incredible. And these photographs were incredible, and they had 40 minutes to do it. They came back, downloaded, and then we had our show the next day, and it was some of the best photography of the year. The great thing about the, the lunch jam and Cubstock is that you know we had seniors. We had athletes play. We had kind of the, you know, I was, for back of a letter term, uh, for lack of a better term, the stoner crowd playing. We had freshmen playing who were kind of geeks. We had everybody up there all playing their own song with their own groups. It was a total fusion of all the social cliques on campus. That Hear that? <laughs> <laughs> You know, this dog is, um, I had the old dog who died, Ray, I wish you guys could have met him, because he was a, they were the, sort of the yin and yang of my personalities. Ray was a kind of a worrier and very, you know, laconic, I meaning he just didn't say a lot, all right? And then this dog, and so that's my downtime, this old dog, and then this one's sort of the hyper-vigilant, uh, very aware, um, never, never sits still, kind of intense, and just wants to keep going. So I had these two dogs that were um, sort of the, my facets of my personality.